This is a preparation video for the IB Business Management course. After the videos, please click www.intemas.com on the link at the bottom of this video to try out our assignments. Unit 3.2 Costs and Revenues Cost and revenues are very important factors that determine the success of any business. Cost refers to the total expenditure incurred by a business in order to run its operations. Revenue is a measure of the money generated from the sales of goods and services. Profit is calculated by finding out the difference between revenues and costs. A high positive difference is a good indicator of a business success. Types of costs 1. Fixed cost. Fixed cost are the cost that do not change or vary with the amount of goods or services produced. They are expenses that have to be paid regardless of any business activity the firms engages in. They are mostly time-related and are usually paid month, per quarter, biannually, or per year. They remain fixed in the short run. For example, rent, insurance, salaries and interest payments. 2. Variable cost. Variable cost are the cost that vary or change with the number of goods or services produced. They are expenses that change in proportion to business activity. Variable cost are volume related as they are paid per quantity produced. These are costs that can be incurred both in the short run or in the long run. For example, raw material costs, sales commissions, packaging and energy usage costs. 3. Semi-variable cost. These are costs comprising both fixed and variable components. Semi. Variable cost remain fixed for a given level of production or consumption, after which they become variable when the set level is exceeded. Also known as semi, fixed costs or mixed costs. The greater the production levels the higher will be the total costs, however, when no unit are produced the firm still incurs fixed costs. For example, labor costs. 4. Direct cost. These are costs that can be identified with or clearly attributed to the production of specific goods or services. They are expenses that can directly be traced to a particular product, department, or process, known as cost centers. For instance, Direct costs include the cost of flour used in making bread in a bakery. Direct costs include raw materials, direct labor and packaging costs. 5. Indirect cost. These are costs that are not clearly identified with the production of specific goods or services. They are expenses that are not directly traceable to a given cost center such as product, activity, or department. They are also known as overheads or overhead costs. For example, rent, office staff salaries, audit fees, legal expenses, insurance, advertising expenditure, security, interest on loans and warehouse costs. Total revenue. This is the total amount of money a firm receives from its sales. It is calculated by multiplying the price per unit by the number of units sold. Total revenue, TR, equal to price per unit, P, times with quantity sold, Q. Total revenues also known as sales revenue or turnover, should not be confused with earnings or profits, which take costs or expenses into account. Total revenues include all income received, whether the goods or services were sold on credit or cash. 
A firm's revenue is obtained not only from its trading activities. Other revenue streams include the following. 1. Rental income. A business could receive income from rent it collects from property it has invested in. A seasonal business could also hire out its office or factory space during times when demand for its products is low. 2. Sales of fixed assets. This could be from the sale of unused or underutilized assets in a business. 3. Dividends. A business could be a shareholder in other businesses and is entitled to a share of the profits, also known as dividends. 4. Interest on deposits. Holding substantial amounts of cash in the bank can lead to a business earning good levels of accumulated interest the money if the interest rates are favorable. 5. Donations. These could be a cash gift made by an individual or organization targeting mostly charitable organizations. You may now try out the free assignments. All assignments will be marked and feedback will be given immediately. Email us at administration at